Let's have a look at some of the quality requirements of embedded systems. Um, nothing, nothing particularly different about them, but there are some very definite uh, quality requirements. The first of them is they usually have to perform in real time. That is, events are going on in the real world and they have to keep up. It's not as if the real world will sit around and wait. They usually have to be computationally efficient if they're going to achieve these, um, these real world response times. Uh, frequently they're highly portable. The systems have to be highly portable. Um, now this, this is probably going away less and less as more general purpose computers are used for um, embedded systems. Um, but um, you, you still may be stuck with the whole idea that you actually have to, to uh, port your particular control system or embedded system to different hardware chips and implement it on different hardware chips. So it can be a consideration that you have to be able to port this uh, software. They usually have to be highly reliable and robust, uh, with high recoverability. Uh, this is because um, the devices that you're putting them into, and this can include airplanes and things like that, uh, can't quite afford to say, oh, let's stop while we debug this thing. They Also, the systems um, usually have to be exhaustively determinate, that is, they have to be able to determine what to do under all circumstances. You can't afford to say, gee, we didn't think of that, and suddenly stop. So in terms of real-time performance, the classic thing is that the, um, the, um, there may be an event that, that takes a certain amount of time, and you have to respond before that time. It doesn't, if you, if you miss that, then it doesn't really matter how much you miss it by, you failed. Uh, so that can place some fairly significant constraints on things. Think in terms of uh, you know, driving a car. You know, the, if, if you've got a control system in a car, it has to respond uh, in, in the performance constraints imposed by the vehicle moving at speed. Now, embedded systems have to be highly reliable. Um, I did hear a story of um, somebody who put out software on, on mobile phones. Now these are consumer devices and he pointed out that the cost of recalling all those phones if ever there was a bug that needed a recall and because it's a consumer device um, the Department of Consumer Affairs could order a recall he couldn't afford it because the cost of recall would exceed by a long shot the uh, profit margin they had on these devices. So it had to go out there really, really reliable. Now where it comes to life critical systems and the easy one to pick on is the um, heart pacemaker, that has to be fairly reliable. Um, yes, there have been bugs found in them and no, they weren't uh, critical bugs. It was more a case of, well, you know, we can imagine circumstances where it wouldn't function so good. And yes, they were reprogrammed um, with microwaves. But you can imagine a whole lot of other life-critical systems um, that you really don't need a problem with. Uh, you can't afford to have a bug. So it puts a premium on uh, proving that these things function uh, well, and uh, it means that things like um, one bug per thousand lines of code, which is thought to be a reasonable uh, standard for commercial software, is actually uh, not enough because if you have 10 million lines of code, then a bug per thousand lines of code means you've got, what, 10,000 bugs in the thing? Uh, you can't afford that. So uh, the demand for better quality is, is going up enormously. But beyond that, um, it's, it's mostly the case that industrial accidents are not the result of a single problem. They're a result of a combination of problems, particularly a combination of impossible things. Now, how would you like to be the person who signed off on these systems? Uh, these are all from um, uh, news stories about Qantas, the Australian airline, and they were all uh, non-fatal but serious uh, errors, and most of them uh, were tracked back to some bug in the software. We suspect that there are other bugs in uh, airline software systems as well, um, but people are tracking them down. The whole point about that is that a lot of real-time embedded systems cannot afford to have bugs.
cannot afford to have major problems. So a summary for the quality characteristics of embedded systems are that they need to be computationally efficient and highly reliable. They must respond in real time and they must be determinate.